guys and welcome to Celebrity where I'm giving you the latest in entertainment news. It's been a wedding. It's been a wedding. Tina Knowles got married to her boyfriend Richard Lawson. She got married this weekend. Oh my god I'm so excited. So Tina Knowles the mom of Beyonce and Solange Knowles Mary Richard Lawson who is the actor in he played in Jackson 5 he played Joe Jackson so if you don't know him that's who he is that's how I know him they got married on in California on the California coast on a yacht it was so beautiful in nose fashion everybody was in all white everybody was glammed up head to toe it looked beautiful Beyonce posted pictures on her Instagram Oh my gosh, Tina knows she's 61 years old, divorced from Joe Jackson, and they separated in 2009, divorced in 2011. She's she gone with the wind, fabulous. She wasn't playing no games. She got a she got a Matthew knows times ten. Richard Lawson has is very accomplished on his own. He's well known. He's handsome, and I like the fact that he's her age because she could have went the Chris Kardashian way and got a younger man and played around with him. But I like that that would have been corny. But I like that she just went with somebody who was her age. They can just do it together, be married, be happy. So congratulations. To Mama Knowles, can you see how excited I am to tell you that Mama Knowles just got married on a yacht? Yes. But speaking of the Knowles family, Solange Knowles, who was in LA for Coachella. Coachella's going on. Shout out to Coachella. This is my um, Coachella inspired outfit right now. I don't know if you can tell, but um, Solange Knowles was in Coachella. She had to be rushed from LA to New Orleans, which is where she lives right now because their business partner was stabbed 10 times viciously by a friend um, outside of a party. So basically she's still in the hospital right now. She's in critical condition. Um, her friend that stabbed her was went to jail. He's char she's charged with attempted murder and posted a $50,000 bail on Friday. So I definitely want to send out all positivity towards that way because it's apparent it's very serious um Solange Knowles was she's a DJ she was set to DJ a party um during Coachella but not at the actual festival but of course she had to cancel that she was rushed to New Orleans so we just hope that everything is okay um in New Orleans and during that way like life is just getting crazy it's just it's just getting crazy <sighs> crazy young thug Lil Wayne and Birdman like it really doesn't get more crazy than that the situation is just getting out of hand okay so recap we all know that Young Money and Cash Money have been going through their differences that now that's one thing um Young Thug is not really a new artist he's been out for a while now but he signed under um Cash Money which is Birdman's label so Basically, Young Thug and Lil Wayne are going through some issues right now. Young Thug wants to name his next album The Carter Six. So, obviously, that's going to rub Lil Wayne the wrong way. Now, Young Thug took to his Instagram and stated, this is a quote from Young Thug, I understand that Lil Wayne is frustrated with his career, but I never swap words or beef with him. This is a person I look up to. Okay, so I hear you, and I'm sure Lil Wayne hear you, and everybody else hear you, Young Thug, but why are you naming your album Carter Six when you know that Lil Wayne named his albums The Carters? So why are you doing this? That's disrespectful, you petty, so we're going to be done with this story because you petty, and I don't like that, you petty. So, if you missed the MTV Awards, it premiered yesterday, April 12th, on MTV, of course, so if you missed it, check it out. My top two moments for the MTV Awards when um, Vin Diesel went on stage and he sung a song from Wiz Khalifa, um, See You Again. Of course, he sung that for his longtime co-star and friend, Paul Walker, who has passed away. Um, that was a really good moment. They had a moment where Amber Rose kissed comedian Amy Schumer, who <clears throat> actually hosted the event. They had a little make-out session on the kiss cam so that was a funny moment i mean it was a really it was a really cute award i liked it, it wasn't my favorite mtv award but it was a really cute award um jennifer lopez got an award um the cast of magic mike did a little dance on stage so that was nice um i really liked it so speaking of fast and furious now the last movie is out right now fast and furious 7 is going to be the last movie in the whole fast and furious movies it's the number one movie in the country, making over $251 million right now. It's breaking all box office records. I have not seen it yet, 
Um, I need to go and see it, check it out. I know it's a good movie. Um, rest in peace, Paul Walker. We miss you very much. I love Fast and Furious movies. Um, the next celebrity is going to be the very last celebrity of the semester and the very last celebrity while I'm at Alcorn State University's campus because I am graduating, so I'm going to make sure it's a really good episode. I can't wait for you guys to check it out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!